Hello, my name is Robin Rose Graves, and today I will be reading you a short story from my trilogy titled October 13th, 2012, published in West Coast Weird's 2020 Halloween issue. The trilogy consists of Leeches, Life of the Party, and the one I will be reading today, The Dog. The dog follows me from the graveyard, gray and matted, walking with a limp, eyes milky and blind, bone in her maw. She struggled to keep up. I thought she might admit defeat. Puddles on the sidewalk made her paws muddy. Crowds drove by. I threw glances over my shoulder. She was still there. The shops are closed at this time of night. I look in the windows, trace over items that could have been mine. It's not the same. She sits at a respectable distance away, bone and maw. When I move, she follows. I walk to my old high school. The doors open at my touch. She trots in after. The halls are a gaping throat. I refuse to be swallowed again. I stop to look at your picture. The girl who I wanted to ask to frown but did not have the guts to do so. There are flowers that are starting to wilt. Candles melted, standing in an unlit vigil. I do not look at the photograph there. The dog follows me back to the streets. Lights shine through gaps in the leaves. I hear laughter. Kids play on the basketball court. The ball stops at my feet. Toss it back, one calls to me, breathless and hyped on adrenaline. Can I pet your dog? Another asks. I look towards the dog. She sits attentively at my side, bone and maw. I don't think that would be a good idea, I answer for her. Want to play? I hand the kid the ball back. I watch as the kid's eyes grow large, dropping the ball. Are you okay? I neglect to answer. They watch me walk away, dog falling behind, bone and maw. There's a hole in my shoe by the time I make it to my childhood streets. The house is asleep, lights are out, not waiting for anyone to come home. The tree out front is as big as I remember. It feels like no time has passed, but it has. She nudges at my foot with her nose, pressing where the gravel had dug into my skin. I feel no pain. Her milky eyes meet mine. She asks if I am done. Had I seen enough? I reach for the matted fur of her neck. I nod. She leads, me, she leads the way back. I tug off my shoes once we enter the cemetery gates. The grass is soft and forgiven. The dog walks ahead of me to a willow tree. She lays my bone at its roots. I scratch her head to thank her for keeping it safe. You can get your copy of West Coast Weird's 2020 Halloween issue starting on October 1st from westcoastweird.bigcardle.com, linked below. $9 gets you the magazine full of scary and weird Halloween-inspired art, stories, poetry, and essays. Also, interviews with Joel Zika of The Dark Rye Project and Scary Mary of Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. For $15, you get both the magazine and also a companion CD of scary ambient, a scary ambient, noise punk, religious electronics, and all kinds of wonderful strange stuff. Honestly, an absolute steal at that price. Happy Halloween! So I used to work at a Halloween store, and if you take two seconds to think of which one it is, you are definitely guessing right. And um, I bought a ton of Halloween cosmetics and stuff just to play around with and one of the things I bought before I left the job was these devil's horns that you paste on your forehead like a prosthetic and I tried doing that today but it's been like uh, four years I think since I bought it I'm trying to think that seems about right um so they ended up breaking as soon as I, I put one on and it looked really good and the other one I put on and the horn that came off of the part that's supposed to attach to my head and I couldn't get it to be fixed so you just have to, you just get, you so you just get the vampire fangs for today.